Imagine you leave your house, you walk down the street, and you're immediately killed by a tiger. This is the kind of stress mice experience every day. But if you think that's bad, a study from 2013 suggests your life is even worse. Let me explain. Scientists wanted to understand what would happen if you submitted mice to the type of stress humans experience. They gathered two groups of male and female mice. They left one group to play while the other was submitted to a month of anxiety producing stimuli. After that, they measured the mice's overall physical and psychological health. Now, the things they did to the mice were pretty extreme, but before I tell you how the scientists replicated the human experience, you need to understand what makes human stress so different from an animal's. Take traffic, for example. Imagine you buy a nice house 40 minutes from work. That means for 80 minutes every day you're in a tiny metal box driving at high speeds. Every day is a slightly different form of anxiety. The traffic changes, different people honk at you, you get cut off on different days, and random accidents and bad weather make the whole experience even worse. On the other hand, your house remains exactly the same. Because of the way our brains work, the initial happiness you felt because of the large rooms and beautiful architecture will start to fade away. But because your commute is always a little different, the stress remains constant. In fact, research shows that the longer your commute is, the less overall life satisfaction you have. And now think about what happens when you add on the other shifting, unpredictable hassles humans experience. Work pressure, worrying about the news, family responsibilities, climate change, economic concerns, health problems, love and relationship quibbles. Our lives are filled with ever-changing, low-level sources of anxiety, where the only escape is sleep, drugs, alcohol, and social media. This endless, grinding, unpredictable stress is what the scientists had to replicate. So for 24 days, this is what real scientists did to mice to mimic the experience of being a human being. Every day, they did one of the following things. They tilted the mouse cages to a 45 degree angle for 24 hours, made the mice swim in cold water, trapped them in tiny tubes, isolated them, flashed lights at them while they were sleeping, wafted predator smells at them, trapped them, and then wafted predator smells at them. And finally, every so often, they just left them alone for the day, which in my opinion is the worst part. If every day sucks, you can trust that the day will suck. But when there are a few normal days sprinkled in, you actually start to distrust those days more than the crappy ones. After the experiment was done, the scientists found that the stressed mice were more scared and less likely to explore new environments. They had also put on less weight than their relaxed counterparts. Finally, the scientists injected both groups with a chemical that made them sick. The stressed mice were more likely to develop worse symptoms. Now, the question is, what does it mean that to replicate modern human life, we basically had to torture an animal? I think there are three lessons to be drawn from this. First, if you're struggling with life right now, give yourself a friggin' break. You evolved to live in a small tribe in the forest. Genetically, you're supposed to be searching for fish and berries, not driving to work at 5 in the morning so your boss can threaten to replace you with AI. Humans weren't designed for the modern world. Don't beat yourself up for struggling. This crap ain't normal. Two, the average man or woman is going through the same rough experiences you are. They are trapped mice too. If you can do something to make their burden a little lighter without hurting yourself, do it. Finally, we built this world and the systems we live in and they aren't serving us the way they should. If you can, help push for systems in society that benefit the majority of people. That's why we built them in the first place. I really hope you liked this video. If you're interested in more zany yet positive content, check out this video here.